what I try to do is focus on what I will do and what I want to do and what I would love to do. Mm -hmm. I try to focus on that. And, and so hopefully that will help to bring more of it towards me. Now we would, uh, of course, land the pilot. Do you remember what year frame that was? Nine, when, the first pilot that I yeah, did? Yeah, the one that 1994. 94. And then just looking at your IMDb right now, um, we would get the Renegade TV series, the yeah. Faculty, Party Girl. And this is happening kind of like back to back. So you're getting your momentum in. Dave's World was a TV series. Yeah. And then 98, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. You know, that's a, a dope moment. Mm -hmm. Then we go to 2000s. NYPD Blue, the Parkers, mm -hmm. all this stuff is happening. Um, how is mom looking at this now? Is is she uh, content with where things are in your career, or is there still more that the both of y'all want? Yeah, there's more, and um, yeah, she. We're, we're seeing my mom and I used to get in the car and drop off submissions like photo submissions of myself and even some of my actor friends, we would drive all around LA and photo and, and, and drop off submissions. I had an agent, but mm -hmm. we just wanted to make sure everything was covered <laughs> and make sure that the pictures and the information was re reaching the right casting directors or reaching the right producers. She was very much, um, yeah, no, nah, she was like, we could do more. And she ended up actually getting into management because she was helping out. She was helping my friends so much and helping me and making calls and, and doing that whole thing and connecting with casting directors. Mm -hmm. So And so she ended up, you know, basically semi-managing part time because it, it became kind of like a natural process of, of evolution for her. Mm -hmm. Now, in 2000, we get the Parkers. Yeah. And then um, like, what was that moment? Because. All the other stuff that we that is kind of listed, they weren't necessarily like black sitcoms mm. or like black audience shows. Mm. Was the Parkers kind of like the first time you was able to kind of be in front of your own people? Yeah, it's funny because I'm gonna be honest. Initially, I was not I was not getting the auditions. I wasn't getting the auditions for shows like gotcha. the Parkers. I wanted to be on all the shows. I, I think I auditioned for Moesha probably at least 15 times. I ended up booking one mm -hmm. of the shows, but mm -hmm. I auditioned for Moesha so many times <laughs> before I finally got it. And it took me forever to even get in the, in the door just to get me mm. on Moesha. So yeah, I remember the Parkers. Um, I played a scripper. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, can I do this? Is this, is, is it, this is different. But passion. I just wanted to be on the show. I played passion, yeah. but I wanted to be on the show. I was like, this is what I watch. <laughs> This is, this is, this is. So even in that standpoint, do you have like roles that you won't do? Have you defined that yet? Or are you more so like, yeah, as a woman in this game? At too. this point, I'm really about like how the whole project seems to come together. Who's directing? Who's mm -hmm. the cast? Who's producing? Um, you know, there's different elements that I look at now. Like mm -hmm. before it was. You know, at, at a certain stage of your career, mainly what you want to do is work. Just get as much mm -hmm. experience as you can. Get on set. I love to be on set. Being on set is, is so much fun because you have all these moving parts and everyone has their specific job. And most people are very passionate and love what they're doing. And it's just, it's, there's nothing like the, the vibration of being on set. It's okay. So you as a, a black woman in the game, black actress, black actor, actress, mm -hmm. being a woman... There's they're gonna be like natural pressures that I think mm -hmm. you probably are gonna be facing. Mm -hmm. it comes to mind, I think about Holly Berry mm -hmm. when she did the Monster Bar role. Right. Now some people looked at that like, okay, um, why is she now getting the recognition off of that? Do you feel like you would ever have to I don't know if you have that in your catalog as far as a sex scene, mm -hmm. but are you open to doing something like that if you felt that it would be best for your career? In a sense. Um, open to doing what, like, well, sex. Well, she was fully like out there, right? And then ultimately, they felt that that was like the moment that kind of like I think she got an Oscar. She did get an Oscar. I think I'm pretty sure. So she got an Oscar for I'll just Oscar. reframe the question: Would you do a scene like that if you knew it was going to come with an oh. award like that? Well, Sorry, I mean, it's, a, it's like you never know if it's going to come. I, this is what I will say. Mm -hmm. I, I don't necessarily see myself attaching myself to a role because like, oh, I think this is going to win me. I don't necessarily see that wow. at, the, at the time. I, th I feel like 
You never because you never know. You can't really necessarily. I feel like isn't that a way they predict. try to sell some actors? Like yo, yeah, this but that doesn't always me. work out like that. Like okay. you know what I mean? I feel like honestly, no matter what you do in life, I feel like it's just really important to to tap in to whatever you feel is makes sense for you in that moment. So if if it makes sense for me in that moment. I'm sure, yeah. but but I I, I can't say I, I'm I'm one of those. I definitely am not a never say never type of person, especially mm -hmm. on camera. Because <laughs> they will replay this, <laughs> like um, receipts, right? And so I don't really necessarily. I, I don't want to say I never want to. Uh, I, I would imagine um, I'm, Holly probably had her own thoughts back in the day, and yeah. probably maybe never saw herself doing a role like that. But maybe, you never know the circumstances. Maybe I mean in that moment it could have been it might have been the perfect. It might have been exactly what she wanted, you yeah. know. Um, I'm, you just never know. You never know why an actor or a person makes a decision, you know, or what what what, what makes sense for them. I think, I think you just really got to. Well, do in. you have? I mean, um, do you have certain things that you at least know that you won't do, or are you just kind of still kind of like? No, I don't. I don't necessarily. I, I try not to think in that way. Like, oh, I will never do this. What I try to do is focus on what I will do and what I want to do and what I would love to do. Mm -hmm. I try to focus on that. And, and so hopefully that will help to bring more of it towards me as opposed to thinking, oh, I don't want to do this because the instant you say, oh, I'm not going to do this. I promise you will get you'll get <laughs> you'll get either an audition or a meeting for it. So I feel like it's better to just kind of try to channel and direct your energy into what it is you would prefer to do.